seventh part of this lecture uh, i was telling you to compute p value okay so this p is equal to 2 into 1 minus the command pt inside the absolute value of t which we have computed t right that same t at n minus 1 okay and we have to close all the brackets okay so let's see the p value because i haven't uh, put this command within the parenthesis so i have to again check the value of p so this is the p value okay now for one sided test when at short such that mu is less than mu not when mu is less than mu not then p is equal to let me write it for you when mu is less than mu not okay uh, just for your simplicity i wrote this command otherwise uh, obviously this is unexpected symbol okay so the is would be p is equal to pt t comma 240 okay this would be and for mu greater than mu not it would be p equal to this would be 1 minus okay 1 minus pt t comma degrees of freedom see okay this is for mu less than mu not and this is h not such that mu greater than mu not right now this is how to compute actually but there are direct formulas available in r okay so let me tell you how what is the direct formula direct command is t dot test and simply the variable you have to give this will give you the complete analysis this is the calculated t statistic degrees of freedom p value alternative hypothesis h not when mu is not equal to mu not okay this is two tail test right and the 95% confidence interval sample estimates this is mean sample estimate this is basically y bar so from direct command this t dot test dot at y you can compute it right direct formula you can compute for one tail when suppose you are taking mu is equal to minus 0.5 then also you can compute or when you take mu is equal to 1 you can compute so you can compute everything okay and how do you store your results you can store your results in a list suppose test rec in this you want to store your result so test result test rec is equal to t dot test at y okay all the results are here okay so you can see test rec the same thing because you have stored now do you want to see the names in this analysis test res all the values are there which we have used this statistic parameter p value confidence interval estimate null value alternative method data name okay you, if you want to see the p value it would be test res dollar sign and you want to see the p value so you have to write p dot value this p value 2.73 you can compare the p value from here it's the same thing okay so this is the p value again you can similarly you can check the confidence interval test rec dollar sign conf conf dot interval ind okay one more thing i'll tell you 
the t test for two samples let me take the values suppose x is equal to c i am taking the random values 1 2 3 4 5 and y is equal to suppose i am taking the random values 4 2 6 8 1 i am taking the random value these are two samples x and y so what would be the command t dot test okay x comma y comma if you are taking independent samples then paired you will write false if these are not dependent these are not paired t test this is independent sample t test comma variance dot equal is equal to True, right? So it will give you the analysis. Similarly, for pair t test, you can take the command t test x comma y comma. Now, paired is equal to you have to write true. Okay, and the same we are taking the assumption variances are equal. Even you can take unequal also. Okay. So see, these are the analysis. All right. So uh, the I have discussed in this part the t test, one sample t test and two sample t test. When the both the samples are independent, you have to take paired is equal to false, and when these are paired the paired samples suppose uh, i can give you the example if we are taking a group of patients and we are administering a drug then we can take the values the two samples the effect of a medicine before administering a drug and after the administration of drug so this is a paired t test so when you are taking a paired t test you will write paired is equal to true and when you are taking the independent sample t test you will take paired is equal to false right so you can take any data and you can apply and you can store these result as in any name as rec or in any name and then you can find the values from that Variable, right? 